Hello, I'd like to invite you as missionary disciples of the Lord to join me on the Via Crucis, the road to heaven. The prayer before the journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, our Father, as we set out on this sorrowful journey, grant us your grace. We thank and praise you for the gift of life, but even more we thank and praise you for the gift of your Son. By dying he's destroyed sin, suffering and death, and by his resurrection he offers us the gift of eternal life. And we follow him now along the road to Calvary. Change our lives by your Holy Spirit, that we may live the new way of living he's called us to. Grant us the grace to carry the cross in union with him, and grant your love and strength to all who carry heavy burdens, especially the poor and the needy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, God the Son incarnate, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was abused and insulted by the crowds and unjustly condemned to death by Pontius Pilate. We are often quick to judge, criticise and even condemn others. Yet one of the hardest things in life is when this happens to us. Let us pray for the grace to forgive those who have wronged us and for God's forgiveness for the times we've harshly judged others. And let us pray for those on trial today, for the unjustly condemned, for prisoners and for those who look after them. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. The second station, Jesus is made to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, as he carried the cross on his shoulders, was thinking of you and me, 
offering to the Father the death he was about to undergo to bring us salvation and happiness. Jesus once said, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let us pray for the grace to fulfill our vocation in life and to persevere in it. Let us pray for people who carry heavy crosses such as poor health, financial worries, broken marriages, loneliness and sadness and for refugees, migrants and the victims of violence and terrorism. I love you Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. Through her heart is The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first time Jesus fell under the enormous weight of the cross. Loss of blood from the scourging and the crown of thorns had gravely weakened him. Yet the soldiers mercilessly drove him on through the streets to his imminent death. Ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the sorrow he carried, yet through his wounds we are healed. At this station let's make an act of contrition to ask forgiveness for our sins, especially for falling into sinful thoughts, words, attitudes and deeds and for a firm commitment to rise up again and amend our lives. Let's also make reparation to God for the sins and failings of others. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the poignant meeting of Jesus and his mother, Mary, as they gazed at each other on the way. He, his heart full of compassion, she, there to support him, in his self-sacrifice for our benefit. Woman, this is your son. Mary, the mother of the church, is our mother too. She loves us with a maternal concern. Let's pray for ourselves, for all our needs, especially for our diocese. Let's pray too for the whole church, for the Holy Father, for all bishops, priests, deacons, for the religious, for the lay faithful, that we might be more effective evangelizers of contemporary culture. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always. Then do with me what you will. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. 
The fifth station, someone helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus was struggling and it seemed he would not make it, and so forced by the soldiers, Simon of Cyrene came forward to help him. Simon, however reluctant at first, was literally a godsend, since without his help, Jesus would have expired along the way. Perhaps we too have been helped at some time by a generous passerby. Let us pray for a greater love for others and a real sensitivity to their needs that we will always go the extra mile to help. And let us pray for God's blessing on all who have helped and supported us along the way of life. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the holy face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how a woman in the crowd, Veronica, seeing Jesus in terrible suffering and distress, stepped forward to offer him a towel. In drying himself with it, he left upon it a sacred image of himself. The name Veronica means true image, and as disciples that's what each one of us is called to be. Let's pray for ourselves that we may be true images of Christ. We pray for those who govern us, for those who work in the caring professions as public servants, for doctors, nurses, social workers, for those who served in the armed forces, and for the police and emergency services. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in the pain, in that mother's pain untold? The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider all the intermediate falls and stumbling of the Lord as he bore the weight of the cross, carrying himself to Calvary to offer himself to the Father for our salvation. How often are our good intentions mere words that we fail to see through? At this station, we pray for the grace to put our faith into action. And we pray for all who fail in their endeavours and good intentions, for those who fall into vice and difficulty, into alcoholism, the slavery of drug and sexual addictions, that the Lord will preserve them from despair and help them rise again to take up the cross. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again.
grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the women of Jerusalem, seeing Jesus weak, bruised and struggling, wept for him, while he in reply, the Saviour of the world, said, Weep not for me, but for your children. How many people in life have like Jesus, given us a brilliant example of self-sacrificing love when despite their own problems they've looked out for us. Let us pray for the grace to differentiate what is really important in life from what is not. And we pray for all the good women and men who've helped us to endure the misfortunes of life, especially our relatives and friends our teachers and clergy. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. station Jesus falls a third time we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world consider how Jesus the King of Martyrs gives to the end a perfect example of loving patience and commitment when weak and exhausted he fell on his face at the place where he'd come to lay down his life. When we see how terrible is the suffering of many in our world, our own problems and difficulties, however real, can seem slight and short-lived. Let's ask the Lord for the strength always to rise from our falls and to bear the cross with patience and love. And we pray for all who are weighed down with worry and anxiety or who suffer depression and mental illness for those who counsel and care for them. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how, having reached Calvary, the place of crucifixion, Jesus was stripped of his clothes so roughly that his skin was torn away with the cloth to which it adhered. We often create personas that others will think highly of us, 
Yet when the reality is exposed, our reputation lies in tatters. At this station we pray for the grace to be less critical and judgmental of other people. Let's pray for universal respect and love for the poor and the weak, for the international community that there may be peace on earth with a more equitable distribution of the world's resources. I love you Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. station Jesus is nailed to the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world consider how Jesus stretching out his arms on the wood was painfully nailed to the cross he the Lamb of God was then raised on high and blood flowing from his wounds left there to die. One of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance and at once there came out blood and water. Bodily pain can be excruciating, although we thank God for recent advances in medical science and palliative care. We pray now for anyone in physical pain at this moment, for those who will die today and for those with cancer and arthritis that joined to the sacrifice of Jesus, they may be consoled by his love. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, crucified between two criminals, cried out at last, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit, bowed his head and expired. It's not easy to die, even for a good man. Death and dying is daunting, yet by his cross, Jesus has made it the road to heaven. Let us ask him to preserve us from a sudden and unprovided death and to grant us a happy death, assisted by the sacraments of Mother Church and attended by those we love. Let us pray for those who will die alone and unloved, especially the victims of war and prejudice. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torment died. The 
the thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how all the other disciples had deserted Jesus in his last agony, except the Blessed Virgin and John the Beloved Disciple. Now his sacred body is taken down from the cross and tenderly laid in the arms of his mother. Behold the Lamb of God. Often these days the natural order, the human body, Mother Nature, are mistreated. Let's ask for the grace to live more simply with respect for creation. And we pray that everyone on earth may come to respect the corporal and the spiritual realms of God's creation. We ask the Holy Spirit to give the gift of faith to those who do not believe in God or in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent in my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. Let me Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how, with the help of Joseph of Arimathea, they wrapped the body of Jesus in linen cloths with myrrh and aloes, following the Jewish burial custom, and laid it in a tomb. It was preparation day, and on the Sabbath, as the law required, they rested. Consummatum est. It's accomplished. The passion of Jesus was for Mary and the apostles a devastating ordeal. Yet we know this was not the end of the story. For he who once said, I am the resurrection and the life, descended into hell to open the gates of paradise. Let us pray then with confidence for all our loved ones who have died and for all the faithful departed, that cleansed of their sins, the Lord will admit them into the communion of saints. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, then do with me what you will. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. Now the prayers at the end of our journey. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, our Father, 
we have devoutly recalled the way of the cross that your beloved Son travelled on his way to Calvary to die for us and for our salvation. Graciously hear the prayers we've offered to you. Help us to carry our own cross and all the burdens of life. Make us holy, forgive us our sins, that one day we may be found worthy to pass over with Christ to the joys of paradise. Through the same, Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's offer these prayers for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>